the gathering set to kick off, Menangagwa promises prosperity, and Facebook to show how badly you were duped by fake news. Thursday, the 23rd of November 2017, no idea is above scrutiny and no people are beneath dignity. Majid Nawaz, last chance to book your seat at the gathering, click here for ticket info. Parliament's Public Enterprises Committee as part of its oversight had encouraged the executives and board chairpersons of state-owned entities so to share information to improve performance. At a meeting in early 2015 called by then SA board chairperson Dudu Mayani with her Eskom counterpart Zola Satsi at the presidential residence in Durban wasn't quite what had been contemplated. It was that meeting, at which President Jacob Zuma also made an appearance, according to testimony at the Parliamentary State Capture Inquiry on Wednesday, which set in motion a series of suspensions and resignations at Eskom that linked to further state capture deals. The gathering set to kick off Daily Mavericks The gathering kicks off today. The lineup includes some of the country's most prominent political leaders, as well as a host of other major thinkers guaranteed to prod your brain muscle. It is at live via DSTV channel 180. If you do just one thing today, be sure to keep tuned to the gathering. Alternatively, check in with DM to see the latest as it happens. Monangagwa makes debut speech Zimbabwe's incoming president, Emerson Monangagwa, has addressed a packed crowd in Harare's Zanif headquarters. Themes of prosperity and solidarity were the talk of the day. Dismissing criticisms of Manangag was creeping authoritarian streak, the president Notelect has certainly got his work cut out for him. Russian billionaire charged with fraud Suleiman Karimov was charged in France last night for tax fraud. Karimov was detained on Monday and faced two days of questioning relating to tax fraud pertaining to luxury properties. Moscow protested his arrest and Karimov has since been released from custody but has relinquished his passport. Karimov will now be living proof of whether a billionaire can escape the EU without his or her travel documents. Facebook to show you if you were duped by Russia Facebook announced on Wednesday that it would be guiding its users into seeing and understanding whether they were duped by Russian propaganda during the US election. An app developed and scheduled for release by the end of the year should indicate your level of Russian capture. If you know someone particularly prone to fake news, this is something definitely worth foisting upon them. In numbers 180 yet another reminder of the DSTV channel you need to switch to today to every minute of the gathering. Facts of the day today in 1992 the world's first smartphone, the IBM Simon, is unveiled in Las Vegas. A medium popcorn soft drink combo is the nutritional equivalent of three quarter pounders and 12 pieces of butter. Kila Sitole the unlikely career cop leading the saps by Greg Nicholson Mugabe failed to break our humanity a column by Robin Creel weather BFN min 12 degrees max 29 degrees cloudy CPT min 12 degrees max 18 degrees cloudy DBN min 17 degrees max 21 degrees cloudy min 16 degrees max 22 degrees cloudy JHP min 13 degrees max 25 degrees cloud Icom min 12 degrees max 32 degrees cloud Inalp min 15 degrees max 22 degrees rain MHK min 15 degrees max 31 degrees sunny PMB min 13 degrees max 17 degrees rain night min 13 degrees max 24 degrees cloud Iptum min 15 degrees max 29 degrees sunny financial data oil $63.32 gold $1,293.84 Platinum $941.16 13 Reals and 83 Centavos R16 Euros and 35 Cents R18 Pounds 42 Cents 83 Cents JSE All Share 60,751.1 ADJIA 23,530.39 FTSE 1,007,419.02 John Stupart South Africa